The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Sale, the Outdoors Superstore, Coleman, the Outdoor Company, Muscal, proudly Canadian since 1951, Cooper Tires, life's a road trip, come on, let's go, and Princecraft Boats, dominate the waters. Today's Fishing Canada show is what I call the smallmouth bass adventure. We're fishing at Waterfalls Lodge in the Algoma region of Ontario. The list of game fish consists of northern pike, walleye and lake trout. However, the main species is a smallmouth bass and it has multiple locations to catch them from. With me today is John Blanchard, who we featured on last year's Next Big Thing episodes. When I asked John if he wanted to come along for this shoot, he immediately jumped at the opportunity. As we approached the lodge, I was hoping for a slight break in the weather from the brutal heat wave that we were having in southern Ontario. But that wasn't about to happen anytime soon. So with that said, it was summer heat tactics from these Algoma District Smallies. There we go. Pete, got him? Oh, <laughs> decent fish. Uh, Just right. like you said, we dropped that drop shot right back down. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, uh, Look at them dig, eh? Yeah, they can pull these guys. They're strong. Nobody following them, but it's a decent fish. Yeah, look how fat he is. You know what, I'm gonna throw right back around this area. There you go. What'd you, oh, you broke your line. Okay. Yeah, just broke there. Yeah, yeah lucky in the boat is better break than out of the boat. Just like you said, you, you drop right back on them with a drop shot after I mean, or a drop shot or a tube. It always yep. works. You know, I mean, not always, but it's a great backup bait. It's a good one. Look at how fat he is. You're going to add about six inches of length into those fish, and we are laughing here. We're in a classic spot, too. They're Should around. Something there. Yeah. They're around for sure. There we go, Pete. Johnny, yes. drag set. Oh, that feels, that's got some weight. What do you got? So I reel in? Oh, yeah. Nice. You know what? I might try to net this guy. You got him on a drop shot or a treble hook? Drop shot here. Drop I'm shot pretty him? sure it's a nice uh, small each. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Bring him to the net. That's it, son. Boom. Nice. Beautiful. Good job, John. That's a great fish. Look at how you had him hooked. Look, it's going to fall right yeah, over his mouth. Yeah, it wasn't hooked very, wow. very well right in the top, anyway. Look at that. Nicely done, buddy. Dark fish, Pete. Yeah, that is gorgeous. Deep water. Beautiful. Look at the belly on that. Good job, buddy. Beautiful. Nicely done. Okay, drop shot in them. That's good. There you go, buddy. 76 degree water temperature. We're in the summer now. We were hoping to find fish in deeper water by using our electronics. If they're deep, they usually school up and getting more than one fish is possible. But that wasn't working either. So it was the old school method of casting and reeling, covering as much water as possible. One thing we will never turn down is a chance at a shore launch in Northern Ontario. Waterfalls Lodge does this on a weekly basis for their customers. A really nice break in the day, and they supply the fish. After eating way too much in typical shore launch fashion, it was back on the water. Got him, Johnny. Me too. Oh, no way. Yeah, man. <clears throat> Mine's a small one. I'm gonna just. Mine is mine's a decent Beautiful one. fish, Pete. Yours is a nice size. Try I'm going to get mine on this side. <laughs> Got that fish right off the log. <laughs> you read the water on that one. It's a decent fish. So explain that one, Pete. We pulled right up to just this, something this you thought was in, good. This log is in like 40 feet or 30 feet. Here you go. Man. And maybe 30 feet of water or something like that, close to it. Yeah, That's nice good. job. That's a good one. That's what we're looking for. Oh, he's off. And he's off. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, indeed. We're looking at a deep shoreline, saying we're going to hit all these points. Look at that log. Boom, boom. And then, unfortunately, we come right over top of it. <laughs> Beautiful. Nice. Love okay. that, buddy. Loved it. Go back. See you, bud. To get to today's great smallmouth action, John and I first traveled north on Highway 400 to Highway 69. Next, we headed west on Highway 17. We finally turned north on Waterfalls Road to Waterfalls Lodge in Ontario's Algoma region. Destination two of our Waterfalls Lodge smallie adventure took us in a totally different direction. 
We mounted a couple of ATVs and set out for one of the lodge's secret smallmouth bass lakes. Obviously, we couldn't bring our big 19-foot prince trap along for this portion of the trip. No problem. We just have to rough it in a slightly smaller vessel. No problem for a big fella like me. First cast into that bay with the top water. Eh? Small, here he comes. Come on, here he comes. Nice. <laughs> nice little jumper. <laughs> Anybody with him? Nobody with him. How dark that fish is. That fish is really dark. You know what, John? He's, uh, yeah, we yeah, probably shouldn't at him. He's, he's got trebles in him, but nicely done. Now, we're gonna get the hooks in the, in the net deal. If I can get, look at that, he's got everything in him. You barely uh, hit the water with that lure. Yep. Exactly. Skinny little guy, but you know what? They're gonna get bigger than that, buddy. I hope. Start. I hope. I think I'm gonna have to try the top water. No, no, you stay with what you're doing. <laughs> Fish. And they're blacky. Top water bites on, brother. Nice. Oh, yeah. I love this. Oh, yeah. Flat, calm. Yeah, this is it, man. You get into a little outpost lake like this. Here such it comes, a, comes. Bingo. Such nice. a reaction strike. Like, bam. He's underneath. Look at that. See how that fish hit? You got him kind of underneath. Because they'll slap at it like the one that just missed my bait, right? They'll slap at it sometimes. So yeah. Right here at the front hook. Okay. And then sometimes the back hook will lay back into them. Excellent. Oh, I love this, Pete. <laughs> we just gotta get the big girls coming out now. Top water. There we go. Nice fish. Get him out of there. He's get him coming. out of there, Johnny. He's coming. Oh, little guy. Oh, just look at that. Hit it. Oh, nice. nice I didn't even, you know what? <laughs> that was weird. Not even paying attention. I, yeah, I was just pulling mine in, basically watching your fight. Look at here he comes, here he comes. Little jumper. Any more in there with you? Whoa. He's not bad. He followed me out, that guy. Wow. Double header, buddy. Yeah, nice. You know what? Just gotta get them about a pound and a half bigger each. There we go. You gotta love the beaver house fish. Yeah, the small. True Canadian smallies. Oh, jeez, that was casting your rod. <laughs> oh, buddy, that's a decent. Good one? Well, f hit hard. Oh, oh yeah. buddy. Nice that's fish. a good fish right there. I'm going to leave my stick out there <laughs> and put him in the net for you. Let's get him in the net for you. Oh, oh. There he is. Nice. There you go. So just move your seat down. Thanks, Pete. Perfect. That thing now, hit. Did he smash you? Like a ton of bricks. Look at him. Yeah. I thought he was bigger than that even too. Me they're too. jumping and making themselves look huge. Eh? Yeah, and they're fighting. Oh. They are, they're just putting they're the, battling. Uh, pouring the coals to it. Look at that, whoa. Yeah. Look at that. Not a mark, on, not, not a worm in them either, eh? Not a worm. There it is. There it is. Oh, nice fish, a little fatter. This is a better fish. Came at it oh, twice. Oh, yeah. Nice. So out. Whoa, got some pull to it. Pete. That's a better fish, buddy, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. A little bit bigger. I forgot all about that mound behind us. You bugger, John Blanchard. <gasps> oh, <Lee. laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> we have a net here, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that wasn't your favorite ride. No. I hope, was, I hope it was your least favorite ride. This is one of the best little side trips I've had in a long time at a lodge, and it's definitely something I would highly recommend. I couldn't think of a better way to spend and end the day. Well, except for poor Johnny here. Our final fishing destination at Waterfalls Lodge was Denvik Lake. This lake is part of the same system that the lodge has access to, but you'll have to travel a very short distance to fish this beautiful little body of water. This is also where the name Waterfalls Lodge came from. Nice, nice fish. Look at that. Look, there's one behind him. Oh, Sight he's fishing. small. Look how clear that water is Yeah, here, look eh? at this. That is clean, beautiful water. Fish. Nice, thank you. We come over here just to take a look at this waterfalls, obviously. Start throwing the top, top water real quick and have this guy follow, or one follow, about this size. And now there's another one with him, too. And we saw the fish, threw the drop shot to him, and boom. We got him. 
There. That's the way it's supposed to be, Johnny. Come it's out nice here, when find you that see spot. them, throw something to them, yeah. and they react right away and, and take the bait. These fish are all quite full. Eh? A lot of these fish are right stoked with bugs or little minnows. Bye, buddy. Thank you. That fish, he followed the top water, didn't eat it, uh, threw the drop shot to him. I watched him grab it, turn it aside. He grabbed it, went to set the hook. He spit it out. So then I lifted it up and he came up and grabbed it again. So that's, I don't know if you call him aggressive or what, but with those warm temperatures, anything could happen, I guess, at these water temperatures. Just hit it. Got him? Yeah. Do you want a, do you want a net? Yeah, I should get a net on this guy. Okay. I'm not gonna reel in because I'll get my line in your in your in your way. Decent fish. Good job, bud. Yeah. There you go. I'll get my he line out of the way. He's falling right oh, up. Oh, he's blind. Look at blind yeah. in that eye. Oh, look at that. Isn't Good job. that something? Pete, that thing followed it up and hit it right beside the boat. But you know what? Maybe because he's blind in one eye, the way he has a hard time seeing it or honing in on it, maybe. He hit her though, didn't he? Yeah. I mean, they, 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 uh, I've heard of totally blind fish hitting baits. Yeah, show he's, that, you can show he's that eye to thin. The camera. There's the he's eye. thin, but he's big. Like, lo yeah. uh, long, eh? Weird looking how it's almost flat. You think somebody hooked that? Well, he's a rough looking shoot. fish. He's not yeah. a pretty looking stuff. We've been getting a lot of really good looking fish here. Yeah. He looks really old, eh? Yeah. Old and beat up. And skinny. Like, look how narrow that back is, yeah. Pete. You can see his fins are that. all cut. And maybe wow. that's having a hard time, uh, Eaten. He's done all right though. Well, let's let him go. What an ugly fish compared to the rest of them. Yeah. <laughs> but a nice fish. Oh, beautiful. See you, buddy. Good job, Johnny. Yeah. Johnny drop shot. That's just <laughs> a blind one. Johnny. Nice. Oh, I got one no hit way. there too. Yep. All of a sudden, nice. drift like crazy. Nice. Yep. Mine's uh. Mine's an average, typical, I think. This thing's, oh, oh, easy big fella. Yours, have you seen him yet? Oh, Ooh. it's pulling hard. But you know what these fish have been fighting like. <laughs> They're crazy. That feels like a decent fish. Oh, he's pulling yeah. your drag. Um, should we net these guys, you think, or no? No, because the net's probably put away somewhere, so. No, it's right behind me. Okay. Yeah, no sense I just don't want to break the six pound that. line here. I'll, oh. <laughs> here, go. I'll take that. You get yours in. Cause mine's a six pound line. I don't know what you got on here. That's a nice fish. I think mine's got you by a bit. He's going underneath the boat. Oh, sure. He's got me by a bit, eh? Oh, yeah. Bring him in. No, nice. Nice. There's a scoop of fish for you. Good job. You do have me by a bit. Good work, buddy. Boy, they're a nice couple nice fish, anyway. Whoa, my guy ate it. Me too. I'm gonna cut the line on my guy. Yep, me too. Really? Yep. I wonder if the um, schooled up there. Well, mine, mine. You know the way they always follow each other. Yep. Maybe they, uh, maybe they just kind of. Uh, this guy's kind of got the spit out. Oh yeah, give him a dunk or something like that. Um, I wonder if they uh, was chasing. You know what I mean? Like they do the, the regurgitation trick. I'm gonna cut that. And cut that. There. Put that down. Nice. Marks on. Nicely done, buddy. Yeah. Nice, nice double. little double. That's good. <laughs> yeah, this guy. Nice. There he goes. Wow. So, the, so what happened? I'll bet you. I popped that one fish, bringing him up. This is a perfect point right here. Two or three fish are coming around, and you're getting all excited because of him. You hit that same fish. You know, we're running the same drift, very close to the same drift. So. And the stuff they're spitting out. Oh, they're, they're just, just full of uh, they're bait, and it starts a frenzy almost when yeah. one's spitting it out, it seems. Yep. Yeah. Oh, well, you know what? And then that's what happens, even if they're full. As long as you can get one to bite, then the other ones start chasing, and then, you know, either, like you did, just stay down, or yep. bring it up and cast it that other fish. Have another rod always ready yep. to throw. Right? Absolutely. What an amazing trio of Smalley Waters. Tons of fish in each area, and the spectacular drive through scenery that we've become accustomed to up in Algoma. Today's hotspot is a single log that is a perfect hangout for a big smallie. The waypoint on your screen will get you there. Try using a topwater bait first, and if that doesn't work, 
Then use a tube jig, Senko, or drop shot Yamamoto shad shaped worm near the base of the log. For more hot spots like this one, check out fishincanada.com. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by. Ram Trucks. Nothing works harder than a Ram. Food Saver. The number one vacuum sealing system. Stearns. The life jacket experts. Mercury Outboards. Number one on the water. And Outdoor Canada. Canada's only national fishing and hunting magazine.